Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of PGA 2K23 with our My Career. And uh, for today, our rival is going to be Lydia Ko. She tops the standings by almost 4,000 points ahead of us. Our sponsors are Adidas and Callaway, and the relationship with both are perfect. And we are going to be playing the Genesis Scottish Open at the Renaissance Club. So let's go ahead and get into today's match. And the first hole is a par four. We have uh, some fairly strong wind, it looks like. It's a little bit fast. We are going to be, yep, in the sand. After their exchanges on social media, it'll be even more spicy out here. Rich, how do you see this one playing out? Lydia Ko won their last matchup, so I expect some spirited competition today, to say the least. Well, it will be interesting to keep an eye on this one. Right okay, we're going to hit the green in three then. And here we Hopefully. Are. Wind is blowing right to left here, and they're going to go ahead and ride the wind back to this pin. And that'll work. Wow, what a shot. Well, this would be a great par putt if you can make this. That should be good. We got a par. Oh, that's good grit there. In the bunker. Okay. And that is a very good save. That could have been a lot worse. Uh, but we're 60th. We're tied with Lydia Ko. She's actually... Playing with us. And as we head to the second, Rich, the players heading back towards the first tee. Strong par four here, just under five. Okay. We're not going to be hitting any greens in regulation today, I guess. You want a clear opening for your second shot. Narrow fairway up there. A good tee shot's a must. That was perfect. And he's not hit the mark on that approach. Now, coming out of the rough, missing the green was always in the cards. Okay, not too bad. A seven footer right here. This putt to try and save their par. All right. Nice little putt to hold that one. Why don't we catch up with what Lydia goes up to? It's been so tight. She's tied here with her rival. And can she pull ahead now? This is for Birdie. Okay, so she's got par at best. Reminds me of the song by the tubes. She's a beauty. Okay, we're still even. As we head to the third hole, Rich, uh, one of the very good scoring opportunities here at the Renaissance Club. Yes, Luke, just about 600 yards or so. Players must hit it out. And that looks like a green in regulation. Right is going to go into a huge cluster of trees where they're going to have all kinds of problems. Rich, I know you've got terrific uh, history in Europe. You've spent plenty of time uh, over here. You've and okay. Tour. You broadcast to a European audience. Uh, how special is it for you to be here at the Scottish Open this week? I absolutely love being here. That was maybe a little much. Yep. Not only because of the venue, because of the fans and the Okay. Guys, so knowledgeable. You hit a shot to 30 feet and you hear all sorts of people hooting and hollering because they know how good of a shot that was. I mean, I had a bad angle coming out of a Let's a try that. Whatever it is. I just love it coming back here because it seems like they have a Nice. Game we game got a birdie. Passion for the game, unlike almost any fans around the world. I think that being in Scotland and yep we're still tied with Lydia Ko hitting all the shots he's keeping up well over in Scotland we've got a par four I think this is why Americans love to come over here because it's a completely different kind of golf than what they're used to back in the US and that is in the fairway and inside the red zone around 110 yards to go downwind on this shot They've chosen to club down on this one. Okay, we'll see what that did for me, if anything. All right, Henny. What's he got in front of him here with this putt? All right, down the hill here. Got to be gentle. Is 
Is that good? That's good. Okay. Not too bad. Now switching our focus to Lydia Ko. She got one back on that last hole. Let's see if we can make this big putt for birdie. All right. That's a lovely effort, that one. That's a handy putt to make. So we should be still the same. And we are. Is how you do it. Phenomenal stuff. What a putt. Got a par four. A really good risk reward short four. Most players, Luke, should go for this short par four, but watch out for the green because this green has got all kinds of danger on it. Twist, turns, bobs, weaves, ducks, it's got it all. I'm more than happy with that shot. With that shot. Why don't we catch up with what Lydia goes up to? She's got momentum now, just birdied the last hole. Okay, so she's going to get a birdie. Let's get back to the action. This putt to move into the top 20 on the leaderboard. And we should be getting it too, and we do. And that will put them ahead of their rival. Okay. Our leader is a couple of shots up at and oh wow so we're one up and the first of our short holes here at the renaissance club rich is the par three sixth oh this is a nasty little par three dotted by some pot bunkers on the front that was horrible the right hand side club selection is imperative they're looking to get this one close in hopes of saving par Just missed the hole. Okay. This is a power putt. Ooh, nice line. That's a par. That will work. Now fall back after that hole. And oh wow. We're two ahead of Lydia Co. And the seventh on the card, Rich, our second of the uh, opening nine par fives. Yeah, and a par five. five. There's a couple of bunkers you have to worry about. However, you find the fairway. Now your chances of making birdie or better increase significantly. A little bit fast, and that's in the bunker. In the fairway, or is it headed towards the rough? Found the green side bunker. Looking for an up and down here. 18 feet to the cup. This is what they have left for birdie here. Did that make it? There we go. And that's a long range bomb. Another and birdie. Rival will be looking over their shoulder. That was a good shot. To Lydia Ko. Yeah, she's down. She's behind her rivals scooting ahead. Let's see what happens. Wow, and she's going to bogey. Well, that's going to have some impact on the scoreboard. Let's take a look. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. We're in a good spot. Um, what kind of decisions do the players face off the tee? Well, most players aren't able to carry those fairway bunkers basically right in the middle of fairway. So they have to lay... Got the wind against us right now. ...find the fairway that cambers pretty significantly from left to right. And Henny, what kind of a shot are they facing this time? Yeah, this breeze just starting to get up now. On and the there we go. Directly into the face. Why don't we catch up with what Lydia goes up to? She's trying to pull ahead in this group rivalry. Let's see what happens. Oh. That's a lovely speed on that part. Just but short. Good opportunity coming up to move into the top 10 on the leaderboard. Okay, we need to go up just a touch. 
touch more. And we got it. And racking up their fifth boot of the day. I will take that and a spot the top ten to boot. Currently five under for the day. Okay. So yeah, we're pulling away from Lydia Ko and we're uh, getting closer to Maverick McNeely at the top of the leaderboard. The ninth is a strong path for it reach one of the longer ones. It is. There's some bunkers on the right-hand side that you absolutely must avoid. If you miss it on the left-hand side, however, you've got a pitch up so a little bit fast. A par here is a really good score. This would be a great up and down from this spot. Okay. That's a wonderfully played chip shot there. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. Not too bad. Um, yeah, we're still ahead of Lydia Ko. Your thoughts? Look, so far so good against their rival, but let's face it, only nine holes has happened. There's still a long way between now and. And we've got a par five. A little bit fast. We will not be in the fairway. Uh, that's a little untidy. Sitting at five under for the day, in a share of seventh. Okay, not too bad. That's tidy. Getting ready to play their third. Four strokes off the lead. Right where I wanted it. She's looking for an early KO against Lydia after that. Wow, she's on the ropes and maybe down on the canvas if he continues. Okay. Ooh, Another birdie. I will take that also into the top five now. Now switching our focus to Lydia Ko. She's currently trailing her rival. Let's see what happens here. That shot okay. Goes down, and that will be for birdie. And that'll certainly help her chances here. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. And she is even. And the projected cut is one under. Cole's one of your favorites, the 11th here at the Renaissance Club. This is one of the coolest holes I've ever We've got a par four. Leg from left to right, fairly generous teeing area. Don't want to miss it too far right, however. But the second shot into the screen. We're on the fringe. The coolest green I've ever seen. It's got more movement than any other green I've seen in competition. I absolutely love this hole. What a shot from the rough. This is gorgeous. Okay, I like it. Oh yeah, that's awesome. I didn't think they'd be able to hit that from that lie. Good look at a birdie here. Is that good? Oh. oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? And this one is for his par. We got this one, though. Right over the spot. Okay. That Solid par part, that. He finds himself currently tied for fifth. The twelfth rich, uh, par three, just over 200 yards on the card. You back uphill just a little bit. What really makes this hole difficult, Luke, though, is... A little bit fast, but we are still on the green. When that happens, oof, watch out. This hole is a doozy. Come on, let's make this putt. It's for a sheer of fourth on the leaderboard. Right about here. Nope. Oh, that's frustrating. A good opportunity here, just six feet to the hole. He's got this for his par. That'll work. We got the par. Well, that's a momentum maintainer. Well done. That could have been a lot worse. Why don't we catch up with what Lydia goes up to? Yeah, she's down, she's behind, her rivals scooting ahead. Let's see what happens. Standing and this is for Birdie. Very long part. She's gonna par. How good was that? From downtown and gets it to drop. And with that, she'll move to a couple under par. 
Another beautiful hole ridge, this one right along the coast, the 13. Oh, this is breathtaking off the tee, isn't it? But don't let the views... Okay, a little bit fast, and that's fine because it does go to the left. No, that's perfect. Right to left. Find the fairway and happy days. Let's take a look at Lydia Ko, shall we? Okay, this is her second shot. Wow. Down she goes. And this is why you got to keep your foot on the gas at all times. These guys and girls are good. From about 100 yards. Three shots off the lead. Okay, that's fine. And that's not fine. That's a shame. Had a chance to hit the green, but couldn't quite get there. And coming up well okay. short. And this putt coming up for his par. And putt is underway. Yeah, good putt. Well, Messed up on that hole. But we still got the par. Trailing by a few shots after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the 14th. Okay, it is a par three. A little bit fast, but we are on the green. Yeah, quality shot that. And this part to move into the top five. Perfect. Hey, nice looking line. Oh, what a super shot. Okay, we're seven under. We'll move to seven under. Incredible. The Englishman Justin Rose currently leading this tournament, playing nicely on top. We have a par four on this one. Nice birdie at the Okay, line. and we've got the wind at our back. Perfect shot right down the middle. Oh, well played. And Henny, what's he looking at here? Yeah, the breeze ruffling their shirt, hitting their back. It's going to be tough to control the distance here. There we go. Stop, stop, stop. Pretty good shot there. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one? They've just got to focus on hitting the back of the cup, guys. This is up the hill. Bit of extra juice. Okay, a little bit more. Try that. Now that's how you nope. An opportunity to make their par. Good par. Now that's got to be frustrating. Hit such a great approach shot in, but wasn't able to convert. Couldn't convert after two good shots. Their disappointment as they're so close to the lead. Oh, almost went in. And after that, okay, she should be parring two then. Right <clears throat> Just a few holes remaining in the round. The 16th hole, one of the last true birdies. Okay. It is. Tee it high and let it fly there, Luke. Don't go down the left We've got the wind against us. Hit it down the right-hand side, and you got to believe you're going to make, at worst, a birdie four. Seems to have chosen the three wood. See if you can get that one. Not bad. Now switching our focus to Lydia Carr. Okay, let's see what she's done. This is a birdie. Strokes behind so far. Okay, she got the birdie. But we have a shot at Eagle. Yes, sir. Gets it to go. Thank you. And a chance to move into a tie for second here. That's pretty tidy. He's made it. Okay. Not too bad. And after that hole, this player sits in second behind England's. Okay, we are one shot behind Rose, and we are three ahead of Lydia Ko. All right, Rich, the 17th. This is an amphitheater style green. All sides kind of work back towards the green. There is a little front left section, though, when they put the mm. over there. 
you have a really good opportunity to hit it in there close. This putt just five feet away from the hole. Nice little par putt here. Looking there we go. So and in it goes for the par. Justin Rose currently enjoying first place in this one. Okay, and we've got one hole left. We're up uh, by two on Lydia Ko. We're down by two on Justin Rose. And as we make our way to the finishing hole here, Rich, how is this 18th at the Renaissance Club? This is an absolute brute, Luke. Just under 500 yards, and you must find the fairway. You cannot... We got the fairway. Hole off the tee. There is danger both left and right. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? Setting up this shot with the wind in their face. Mm. Didn't quite strike that as cleanly as they would have hoped. Oh, look at that. The wind just wreaking havoc with that shot. Disappointing. And he needs this to save par. There's the par. Okay. And another round safely. We're fine. And after the first and round. Down, he finishes in a tie for second. Wow, she caught up. Rich beam and, all the and we got a new iron grip. Or timing. Okay, second round. Let's go. In the top ten, going into this final round, and there's a good opportunity to get out there early. Good shot, and oh. Let the leaders know that you're coming for them. We're in the light rough. And just in the first cut here. Choosing the nine iron here. This one's left of the green. That could have been better. And this putt is for birdie three on the scorecard. It's tracking. Oh, we needed just a little bit more. We had it. But we got the par. Uh, we're now down one on Lydia Ko. Next up is this two shot hole. Strong par four here, just under 500 yards. There's a bunker down the left hand side. You must avoid. There we go. Opening for your second shot. Narrow fairway up there. A good tee shot's a must. Taking aim from around 190 yards here. He's had a disagreement with the caddy. He's gone down a Yep, I probably shouldn't have done that. And here we are with the third shot. Well, I hope he makes this one. It's for par. And that should work for par. Okay. That's fine. John, do you have any info down there? Hey guys, we are checking in with Lydia Ko as she gets set for her next shot here on the third. Looking wow. Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. England's Justin Rose finds himself back on top of the leaderboard. Okay, we need to uh, step it up a little bit. Looks like they put a good swing on that one. That should find the short stuff. It's been a good year. Three wins so far this season. Okay, that'll work. Oh, that was pure. Getting ready to play their third. Probably should have went a little bit harder on that. Okay. And that should secure That's a par. Managing to maintain their position. At least we're not after that effort. Hitting bogeys, you know. No oh, great swing there. Sitting at nine under. Currently tied for tenth place. Opting for the nine iron. Why? Not sure if that's how they drew it up. 
coming up a little short with that effort. That was not. Well, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. It's done that a couple of times today where it just kind of goes John, slower than it normally does. We are checking in with Lydia Ko as she gets set for her next shot here on the fifth. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? And let's see what that shot Okay, where are we at now? There he is, the Olympic gold medalist Justin Rose on top here. Okay, we're down three on her. Time to face a par four. Most players, Luke, should go for this short par four, but watch out for the green because this green has got all kinds of danger on it. Twist, turns, bobs, weaves, ducks, it's got it all. Second shot here on the fifth. Okay. Our man on the ground, John, he's down there. What's the news? Hello up there. We are checking in down here with... This Lydia is Coe, her par. Set for her next shot here on the sixth. And here we are with the okay, so she's a hole ahead of us. Our Ooh, that almost went down. You know... Luke Donald once made all 400 plus attempts inside three feet on the PJ Tour. This one to save par. Okay, we're still down by three. Suggests heading up the leaderboard. Here we are at the sixth hole. Oh, this is a nasty little par three dotted by some pot bunkers on the front part of it. A big one over there on the right hand side. Club selection is imperative. This part to get to 10 under par. Got it. And the rivalry seems to be in Finally. To make some great parts. That will bring them closer together on the leaderboard. He's in a share of ninth place. Okay, and wow, we're only down by one. So she dropped a shot then. And we've got a par five. And we're in the fairway. That's a good looking shot there. And we are on the green. Well, that's certainly showcasing all their talents there. That's impressive. Two big hits there, knocking it on this par five and two. It's time now to take a look at Lydia Ko. And the win is directly at her back. Wow. Oh, well played. Wow, what can you say? Holding it out from the fairway. Every player loves that feeling. What a shot indeed. Oh, this is exciting. A putt for an eagle. About one and a half from there. Didn't quite have the right... Start. Well, we're going to get the birdie. Five feet coming up to the cup. They've got this putt to tie. Okay. Lydia We're right back in it. That hold. It's back to back birdies. Gotta like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. Sitting at minus 11 overall. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. Okay, we've got a par four. And we're in the fairway. From around 140 yards here, four shots behind our leader. Going with the pitching wedge here. Not bad. Up on the dance floor. Could have been worse. Already had a few birdies today. Another opportunity for another one. Let's take a look. And this putt is to move. And we got it. Yeah, nice mid range. Okay. And a spot in the top five also with that great shot. Now three strokes. And we are now tied with Lydia Ko. Here we go. We're beginning the ninth hole now. Looks to be going with the five iron. 
That was a little fast. John, you're down there. What's happening? Hey guys, we are checking in with Lydia Ko as she gets it set for her next shot here on the 10th. Oh, what a shot. Mark it down as an eagle. What a play from the rough. Was hoping to get on the green and does one better. How close was that to go? Okay. He has this putt to save his par. That'll work. Yeah, nice to make a mid-range par putt. So, Rich, give us a half-time report. Well, Luke, I've been okay, so she eagled today. this one. Are pretty even for the event so far. Very interested to see who will come out of this with the bragging rights. Oh, well done. Time for the second shot at the tenth. Not bad. Getting ready to play their third. Currently four shots off the pace. Too far. And now intrepid on course reporter John standing by. That was way too far. Here, checking in with Lydia Ko as she gets set for her next shot here on the 11th. Let's return to live play now. A look to get to 13 under par. Right about there. Oh, so close. He's got a par part here. Let's see if he can make it. Well, our current leader is enjoying a one shot lead. This hole's a tough two shotter, a long par four. A little bit fast, but we're still going to hit the fairway. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? Straight back up into the breeze. It's going to be a tough one. A yeah, tidy looking shot, that one. Playing within their comfort zone there. Always nice to have a birdie putt. Right about there, maybe. Nope. Just didn't drop. Mm, good chance this one. Right on six feet. This is what they have left for par here. Nice stroke. Okay. Now five strokes behind. We need her to start dropping. Now teeing off on the 12th hole. You back uphill just a little bit. What really makes this hole difficult, Luke, though, is when the wind is coming directly in the player's face. When that happens, oof, watch out. This hole is a doozy. Yeah, that's a top little chip. Okay. Gotta say, his short par three, and we got par. Let's go to our man John on the ground. There's something brewing down there. Let's find out what it is. Hey guys, we are checking in with Lydia Ko as she gets set for her next shot here on the 13th. The leader now has a one. Yeah, we're probably not gonna. We've arrived at a par four. Probably not gonna beat her. There we go. Well struck. Time for the second shot here at the 13th. Game with the nine iron, I think. And stop. There we go. Wonderful shot. A chance for Booty here on the thirteenth. Twelve feet to the cup coming up. Nope. Oh, just missed. Terrible. Putting for a par here. 
Our work here is done. And we're down by five. Sitting at 12 under par for the event. And now stepping onto this par three hole. And that was a bit okay. of a A bit short with that effort. Here's Lydia Ko. And choosing the eight iron here. Oh, right by the hole. I was going to say that was her second shot. If she gets it in that, this one's over. Second shot here on the 14th hole. Well done. That takes the pressure off the putt. That's okay. You better believe it is great. Still down by five. Time to see what this par four has in store. Good first shot. Opting for the five iron. This needs to go a little bit right once it lands. And here we are with the third shot. Five shots off the pace. A oh, lovely opportunity to save par here. Yep, good thing I checked that. There we go. That putt drops, and now 12 under par, heading down the stretch. Still down by five. In the fifth position. We've got three holes to go. On the 16th hole. Needs to make a move soon. Playing from around 230 yards. Five shots off the lead. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Wow, we couldn't get the bounce. Ready to play their third. Five strokes behind our leader. Oh, I thought that one was going in. What's in front of them, Henny? Setting up this putt 15 feet from the cup. What a putt. Nice. Okay. Setting up miles from the hole. Of course. Wonderful shot. And how did that shot impact the score? Let's have a look at the leaderboard. Our current leader is enjoying... And yeah, so she's probably gonna win not just the rivalry. Well, here we go, Rich. We're at the Penalty. But she'll probably win the match as well. Amphitheater style green. All sides kind of work back towards the green. There is a little front left section, though. When they put the flagstick over there, you have a really good opportunity to hit it in their close. Ooh. This putt coming up is for birdie. Look, nice. Nice putt to make that one. Give yourselves a pat on the back. Two in a row there, Luke. Getting their groove on. John, give us an update. What's shaking? Hey, guys, we are checking in with Lydia Ko as she gets set for her next shot here on the 18th. Okay, so she's going to par. And after that effort, that's how it looks. Lydia Ko is currently leading the field here. And we're probably going to finish in fifth. Now take the stroll to the final tee of this round. Oh, that sounded absolutely flushed. Okay. Playing this shot from about 170 yards out. Four strokes off the lead. Going with the seven. They get a little ground draw here. Let's see where we're at here. This putt is for a score of 65. It's going to be close, but not quite there. That'll sting a bit. Four feet to the cup. Okay. 
And that brings a close to this event. And Justin Rose won. And as we recap the day's results, it's a big thank you to Henny for bringing us all the action today. Luke, thank you so much. I'm not sure anyone enjoyed watching these incredible rivalries. And we finished in fifth. We finished four back. As always, to tread the fairways. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Helby. And we did lose. Um... Did we get anything for that round? We did. We got $250 and we got a uh, driver grip for transitions. And we're going to decline Wilson. And we will decline Nike. And we will decline Ben Hogan. Uh, we're going to reset our rival as Lydia Ko. And our sponsors are still Adidas and Callaway, and they are still perfect. And we are... Wow. A little over 3,500 down from Lydia Ko. Uh, but the next episode, we're going to be playing a major. It's the Royal Championship at Lackland Crossing. But that will be the next episode. I want to thank everybody for watching. My name is All Stream That. Hit the like button if you like this type of content. It lets me know that you like this particular type of content and would like to see more. Hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications to be notified every time I post a video. And follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and Discord. The links will be in the description below. Have a wonderful day.